Oh yes, son, I'm talking to you. Hey y'all, it's your girl True Series 1111 coming to do another video, but today we're going to do a positive video, you know. Honestly, I'm so tired of hearing about the karmic and all this shit. But we're going to get some messages from your ancestors and bring some positivity into this situation, alright? We're going to start with the soul journey day. If you guys been watching me, you know I let the universe um, decide what sign we're going to read for it. What sign are we going to read for today? And what messages do you have for the month? Okay. 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 Somebody don't want to scrub. <laughs> Abundance. I am a limited being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality, alright? You guys need to start manifesting, okay? Maybe you keep meeting scrubs. You want something different, you know? But you don't want to become co-descendants. Okay, guys? Be so, reading for a Libra. Okay, guys? Libra. Right. You have service, but it came in a reverse, okay? I feel good when I can help others, all right? But you're not helping others, or you're not feeling good about helping others right now, Libra. Okay? Because it came in a reverse. Right? Gratitude in a reverse. All right? I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it represents. All right? But you're not, you don't feel gratitude right now. All right? You need to thank the universe for what you do have. Even if it's little, even if you're not where you want to be in life, you have to still thank the universe. For life, period, you know, for breathing, whether you're in a bad situation or not, right? Imaginations and upright. I embrace and nourish, I embrace and nourish the uh, creative aspect of my mind, all right? You need to embrace your creativity, all right? Your creative side, all right? You're a creator. All right, so take your mind. Let me just lay these cards. So just take your mind off of basically being ungrateful. I mean, are you losing something, money, or you just feel like your life isn't where it should be right now? It's because of your mind, um, the way you're thinking. Change your perspective, all right? Start being grateful for, for what you do have, all right? This is for some people who lost their grandmother. Did you lose someone, um, Libra? Is that why you in this? This funk, this negative energy. You're missing someone from your childhood. Or someone that could possibly have raised you. Oh, what messages do you have for this fever out of my cycle? You're hurting, uh, Libra. You need to cry. Let it out. You need to heal. All right. You need to heal. Did you lose someone, Libra? If you did, you know, my sympathy goes out to you. All right, sir, what, energy, uh, what messages do you have for this Libra um, through this power? Libra, you have to stand in your power, all right? You have to stand in your power, all right? Someone never seen, a chance, seen how good you had a chance to see how good you've done. You thinking about someone that passed away? Y'all was supposed to celebrate together? And spend the holidays together. Are you grieving, Libra? Here, what messages do you have for this, Libra? Yeah, you lost someone. And you feel like they're gone forever. Transformation. Are you going through a transformation, Libra? Transformation. 
you want to cry as time goes by. You have to stand in your power. You have to be strong. All right. Call on the universe. Leave her. Be all right. Here, what are the messages you have for this Libra spirit? That's too many spirits. Too many spirits. Can I have a message for this Libra or these Libras? Did you lose a baby or a best friend or, or a homie? You know, people, they pass away, but they're still around you, Libra. All right, just talk to them. Material and spiritual prosperity. All right, it's the next part. Mm. So maybe you're losing material things, all right? And you're not feeling abundant right now. So you're not showing gratitude. Even if you're in loss or grief, you still have to thank the universe, all right? For what you do have, okay? You can manifest all this, but you got to heal. You saying bye to someone? You can manifest this stuff you lost back, but you gotta heal. You know, did you heal your childhood wounds? All right, go talk to a psychiatrist or a life coach. Okay, if you go do that, and you're not servicing others, you know, we all have place on this earth to basically help one another, okay? And you're not doing that, all right? Because you're not feeling any gratitude, you know? If you lost someone or you lost money, you can manifest manifest it back when you heal, all right? You got to go through this transformation, though. That's healing. That's getting in touch with the universe, with God. Your angels, call on your angels. They are there to help you, but they can't come in and help you unless you call, ask them to. You have to give them permission, all right? So if someone had you feeling foolish and looking stupid, did you get cheated on, Libra? Or are you mourning a relationship? Alright, so what we're going to do next, we're going to get some um, Queen of the Moon Oracle deck spirit. What message do you have for this Libra out of my Queen of the Moon Oracle deck spirit? Yeah, you, you're more than a, uh, you're going to do heartbreak, Libra. I'm not laughing. You know, some people take their relationships very seriously. But this is growth. It came in sideways, though. Okay? So this lets me know you're trying, but you're not quite there yet. You need to get it in the upright. All right? You need to grow. So this situation you went through, okay, let it be a lesson to you. I'm not sure what you did or what role you played in this situation. You got to grow from it. All right? You got to learn the lessons. The universe throws this. All right? The love you was pouring into whatever you lost, pour it into yourself. Self-love. Self-worth. Self-care. You breaking down. Yeah, it sounds like you you lost a relationship or your heart broken spirit. What messages do you have for this waiver? I'm not calling another one word for that spirit. So you and this person was supposed to ride to the day that y'all died. It's not that easy to let go of everything y'all had. You gotta move on. You can't stay stuck without growth. All right. <laughs> Yeah, here go abundance. You can have abundance. You can manifest abundance into your life, but you gotta you gotta heal. You're not gonna get anything from the universe until you heal. 
Call on the Lord and then you wait patiently for the Lord to answer that call. You're lonely. You want someone to hold you. Someone forgot about the promises they made you. Yeah. You're more in a loss of a relationship. But you gotta grow. You gotta grow from this. Maybe you lost this abundance because you wasn't showing gratitude to the universe for having this. And you wasn't servicing others. Alright? It's like equal give and take. When the universe hands you something, you share. Alright? It's called charity. You have to do the, the work. Charity work. So listen, God giveth and God take it away. Y'all got to remember that. Right, I don't know who this resonating with. You know, this could be one Libra or it could be several Libras, but y'all are normally the balanced ones of the Zodiac, all right? You got to do equal, equal give and take, all right? Spirit, what message is to the um, Libra's angels and ancestors have for them? A few messages from their angels and their ancestors, spirit, please, and thank you. Thank you. All right. Animal garden. Trust. I said animal garden. Animal guardian. All right. You need to trust your instincts, Libra. Y'all need to trust y'all instincts, collective of Libras. Trust your instincts, all right? This is what your angels and your ancestors are telling you. Trust your instincts, all right? The next one is drum. Dream and journey, all right? You have to get on your life's path, all right? Start your spiritual journey. Dream, all right? You need to dream big and start your journey. And then... And, and, Take the first step and the universe will help you, will push you, will catch you, all right? You keep being in love, all right? You're bleeding love, excuse me. <laughs> Elder, okay? Move beyond ancestral patterns, all right? Now, this is telling me you don't have to do what your parents did. You don't have to do what your grandparents did or believed in what they believed in, all right? Follow your own instincts, all right? If you believe in something totally different than your ancestors, then you go for it. Lord, all right? Take charge with authority, all right? Take charge with authority, Libras. Okay. You're not listening. You don't care what nobody say right now. All right. You're probably living in your ego. You got to drop that ego. Drop that pride. All right. We have mountains. Stand your ground, Libra. You have to stand your ground against whatever the situation is for you. Set boundaries. Put your foot down. All right. Someone has you open and it's draining all of you, all right? You got to transform, Libra. You got to get out of this stuck mindset, this lack. All right? You're in lack, a lack mindset. All right? Let's hear what the angels have to say. All right? Alright, what are some angel messages, angel prayers for this Libra or these Libras in a situation, Spirit?
You have to stand in your power. Stand your ground, Libra. All right. You have law of attraction, but it's in the reverse, okay? You need to study the law of attraction. Universal law. Study it, all right? Basically, what you put out into the universe, the universe give it back to you 10 times harder. So if you was out here doing negative shit, being a cheater, being a liar, blah, 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 the universe going to give it all back to you, all right? 10 times harder, 10 times full. You understand? But it says, relationships and activities that are once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of your energies, all right? You have to meditate. Learn how to read energy, all right? Learn how to feel and read your own energy, all right? Because it's in the reverse, all right? So you have to you have to practice this. You know, it, it does take time. It takes practice. But if you put forth the effort, the universe will help you. Call on your angels and your ancestors to help you. That's what they are there for, all right? You got to get that in the upright. Study the law of attraction, all right, which is basically a part of universal law. Study universal law and the law of attraction. What other angel um, prayers do you have for this, um, these levers? Any more angel prayers? For the levers. Thank you. All right, so God box. All right. Write any worries, concerns, and desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. You know, get you a little box or container and write down everything. Your wants, your desires, your worries. All right? And put it in a God box and pray on it. And then you let go. And then you let God. All right? God will come in. But you have to believe. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in the powers of the universe. You have to believe in the almighty. All right? Start a God box. It's simple. You get you a couple pieces of paper. You write down your desires, your worries, whatever's bothering you. Give it to God. He will help you. He will heal this situation. But you got to heal, help, help it. You put, take the first step. The universe will do the rest. All right? Yeah, let it burn. Let it go. Yeah. Okay, so you it's the thought of them being with someone else that you worried about. You gotta let that shit go. You gotta get over it. You gotta heal. Let it burn. But the feelings ain't the same. I'm a so You made a mistake, and it's too late. You think she's not coming back. You got to suck it up, Libra. Get that guy box. It's 1818 on the clock as I said that. Uh, Google the number, angel number 1818. All right, it's a message there for you, all right? These came in a reverse, all right? It says, have you asked your angels for help with this? All right, I just said that. Your angels are there to assist you and help you. You have to call on them. You have to give them permission to come in and assist you, all right? Your angels want to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices. We all have free will, all right? We have free will to make the decisions we want. But get the help of your angels. They will guide you. They will help you. They will open doors that will close for you, all right? But you have to give them permission. You know, you sit there, you in prayer, you silence the mind, you say, I give my angels permission to come in and intervene in this situation to help me. All right? Hey, look at you. You want to break down and cry. Ask the angels for assistance, Leo. All right? It says goddess. All right? Express your divine feminine energy. Look, confirmation from God. Embracing this magical double confirmation. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities, all right? Trust in the universe, okay? If this is a female, you're a goddess, all right? But you have to have, ask the universe for help with this situation. You have to let them in, all right? You have to do the work. You have to heal and then ask for assistance. You have to forgive yourself. 
You have to forgive others that's involved in the situation. But you have to heal, call on God and your angels and your ancestors and give it to them. All right? Get that God box. Get that God box and, and give it to the universe. All right? Give it to God. Let it go. All right. We're going to give you some um, angel therapy. All right, a lot. Let's take the ones that flipped and keep the ones that didn't, all right? These are the ones that flipped. They're in the reverse, all right? Healthy choices. Libra, you're not making healthy choices, all right? Thank your angels for guiding you to make healthy decisions. All right? It's in a reverse. Call your and call on your angels and ask them to assist you into making healthier choices for yourself, Libra. All right? Why are you so obsessed with me? You're obsessed with someone or they're obsessed with you, Libra? Express your creativity. That came out. With your imagination. Use your imagination and create. Your creator. All right? Thank your angels for helping you to express your inner creator. All right? It's in the reverse. Because you're not asking them for guidance. Your angels are there. And your ancestors are around you. You need to call on them for help. All right? Ask them to assist you with this stuff. Stand in your power. Whatever situation you went through that's on this table, let it go. You're giving it too much energy. Whoever you lost in this relationship, you're giving them your energy. Stand in your power. Take your energy back. Cut the cords and heal. All right? Because the universe, is, they're, they're trying to help you through this. All right? You're not letting them in. You need to let them in. All right? Libra. I don't know what Libra this is resonating with. You know what I mean? But, you know, you, you have to stand in your power, all right? And start manifesting, okay? But if you if you sit in there and you're thinking negative, you're going to get negative. Change your perspective, all right? Get out of that lack mindset, all right? If it's money you want, manifest it. But you got to heal before you get it, all right? All right. I'm going to get you some um, messages out the moonology there for you. Hey, what message do you have for the Libra out of my moon? Thank you. Thank you. You found a girl you couldn't impress? You're delusional right now. Get out of that mindset. All right? It got you losing your mind. All right? Call on God. Do your God box. Call on your angels and ask for assistance in this situation. Say, I give you permission to come in and help me. With this situation, my angels, my ancestors of the highest white light. You got to call on them. All right? It says, show the world the real you, Libra. All right? Show the world the real you. It says full moon in Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius or something, show the world the real you, Libra. All right? All right, these are in the reverse, okay? Nothing will come out of this situation. All right? And look at the moon. Secrets. All right? It must be secrets here. All right? Something that is unknown. Secrets. And it's in a reverse. So these secrets are going to come out. Or they have came out or they are about to come out. Take it as it resonates. You know your story better than I do. All right? But nothing will come out of the situation of you staying in this lack mindset. All right? Maybe you need to go somewhere, tell the truth, get forgiveness. Forgive yourself and then call on God and give it to the universe. It's, 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 that's it. I'm not going to say it's easy because I don't know your situation. But it's easy to go on your bending knee and you talk to God. You talk to your angels. And you talk to your ancestors and ask them for guidance. All right? Work through your fears, Libra. All right. So something got you in fear. All right? That's why you're saying you need to stand in your power, Libra. All right? Stand in your power. Work through your fears. All right? New moon in Scorpio. Is it a Scorpio involved? A Scorpio in Aquarius? I'm not sure. You know, I don't really get into the zodiac signs and stuff, but it could be. Take it as a resonate. You know your story. You know who you're doing. All right? Yeah, so you have to have the it, charity. Let me talk about charity for a second. It don't always mean giving money. 
All right, charity is giving time to someone that needs it. All right, go somewhere and volunteer. Go to a, a homeless shelter and see if they need volunteers. Go talk to a homeless person and uplift their spirit. All right, this you got to do the, the work. All right, stand your ground. That's what it says. Stand firm as a mountain. All right, mountains can't be moved. All right, you got to stand in your power. Okay, Libra. Yes, and trust your instincts. All right, follow your own intuition. Don't listen to others. You, the knower, not them. You're the goddess, not others. All right. All right. So we about to bring this um this reading to a close. We're gonna end it with my blessed be that. All right. Kiss the one low key. You trying to be low key? No, you have to show the world who you are, the real you. You must have been wearing a mask. You must have been being fake or phony somehow. 2600 on the clock, as I said, that look up the angel number 2600. All right. Take that mask off and show the world who you are. The real you. All right. Spirit. Let's get these blessed bee messages. Thank you. A blessing to find the truth. All right. And look at this. Look at your ancestors backing you up. All right. These are your ancestors. All right. And look at this big, white, beautiful bird. Come on now. You have help. All right. Your ancestors are protecting you. But you have to have a blessing to find the truth. All right. Is it a truth that you need to go tell? Do you have to find the truth within yourself? Go deep within. Do the shadow work. You got to heal and ask for clarity. All right. Blessing on a home. All right. Is it a home involved in this? Did you lose your home? Um, it's three three little eggs here. Like, is it? Did you lose children and a wife? You see how this butterfly is here? Butterflies are signs of transformation. And here. What does that say? Transformation, all right? You need to go through this transformation. Go through the dark night of the soul, all right? You need to heal, all right? That's, that's basically what they're saying. Heal, and then you get on your creative side, all right? Service others, you know what I'm saying? That might be your um, your, um life's past is helping others, all right? Yes, but you have to take charge of your life, all right? Move beyond ancestral patterns. You don't have to do what your parents did. You don't have to live like your grandparents did. You don't have to believe in the same things they did, all right? It's a whole new day, a whole new dawn. Yes. But a blessing to find the truth, all right? The universe trying to give it to you. You have to open up and let them in. Be willing to receive. All right, but also be willing to give. Okay, but that's what I have for you, Libras. You know, you can have abundance. Yes, you can. It's right here, biggest day. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. But you have to do the work. You have to heal. Go talk to a, a psychiatrist. All right, if you don't, they they are legally binded to hold your business to itself. Don't be embarrassed to get the help. All right. Okay, Libras, that's what I have for y'all. Again, it's your girl Troops here, 1111. Wishing nothing but peace, love, and light, and blessings to you. All right. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. All right. Peace, God.